Hello there. 你好。今天我们练的。So today we will learn the the modifier. I will show you four ways of using it. For example, the very easy one is when I want to say that this thing is mine or that's my mother. Maybe that's his teacher. So what I use is 我的笔, 我的笔, my pen. If I say just 我, right? So I will, it will be translated as I or 我的妈妈. Let's write that down. In this case, 我, let's, let's leave it empty and I will tell you the difference between 我妈妈 uh, or 我的妈妈. Mama is written with a woman and a horse, but woman is not a horse, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a joke. And um, in here, if I'll say 我妈妈, Chinese person will not understand it. Chinese um, will assume that maybe uh, in this emptiness should be 是, which is is or the which transfer it to my. So they will not and 我妈妈, right? Maybe you will put 我是妈妈, I am a mother, or 我的妈妈, my mother. But of course it will be different if you will have uh, the full sentence, right? So for example, if you will say 我妈妈是老师, so 我妈妈是, is 老师, a teacher 老师, my mother is a teacher in this way in this sentence you don't need to put the in here because I am clear enough already that you're talking about your mother of course if you will put it it will not be a mistake but at the same time you don't need to put too much the in the sentence, right? So, 我妈妈是老师 or 我的妈妈是老师一样的 It's the same. So in here I showed you a noun plus the 这是我的车 This is my car. Noun plus the shows the belonging of things to somebody, right? So this car belongs to me. 我的车, 我的笔, 我的手, my hand, 我的手, 我的脸, my face, right? 我的朋友, my friend. Another one is the pronoun plus the. Pronoun plus the will be used uh, in some of the cases in the end of the sentence. So, 哪份词典是你的? 哪份词典是你的? Uh, you will ask me why did I put the question mark and there is no ma in the end, the question uh, character. Well, actually, if you will look carefully, the first character is na, which translated is where or which. And because we already have the question character, the ma will not be placed in here. So, for example, you want to say, uh, which book? 什么书? 什么书, right? Which book? Because 什么 is what or which. And uh, in here, 书 is a book, right? The first one. And then here, if you will put 吗, it will be incorrect because you already have the question word, right? So you either put 什么 or 吗, but if you will put 书吗, right, if you will disclose this one, um, it will not have the same meaning, which book, it will have the meaning of a book, the question, right? So I hope you're clear with that. And adjective plus the, in this case, the we are showing the difference of things 
uh, to another one uh, by colors, by quality, and so on. So I showed you uh, a sentence which it's clarifying that, and the ta de yi fu shi bai de ge It's a first, first on ta also first the yi fu yi fu uh, the closing clause. Shi is by the ma. So is the clothing of your brother is white. In here, most of the time, uh, people who start to learn Chinese, they have difficulty of translating or um, putting the words in the correct form. So you have to understand, if you have a long sentence, you better start from the back, right? So the closing, so it's here, the closing, I'm sorry, is the clothing of your brothers white? All right, but I will show you the, um, the scheme of um, making a sentence in another lesson. So don't worry, you will get there. And the last one is the verb plus the. Let's see the example. 你吃的是什么肉? 你吃的是什么肉? How will you translate that? So, 你, that's you, 吃, it, 的是, is, 什么, 什么, 肉, is what or which, and 肉 means meat, right? So, what kind of meat do you eat? 你吃的是什么肉? Or, for example, I want to ask you, what kind of tea do you drink? How will you say that? You will say, uh, 你喝的是什么茶? Right? I'm sorry, the 喝 is the first tone. 你喝的是什么茶? Let's write that down. 你 I'm sorry. So in here, as I told you already, Shenma is the question word, so that's why uh, you don't need to put ma in the end. I will leave you some examples, the questions, um, just below this video. So try to put the in the right place, and I will check it. And if you have any questions, just feel free to, an uh, to ask me, and I'll try to answer. Anyway, thank you for being with me. 再见!